Hello and a very warm welcome to this Bitwig tutorial. In this episode, I talk about the eTom uh, Tom synthesizer from Bitwig. So yeah, let's get started. So this is the eTom um, device synthesizer, and um, it consists of uh, one tone generator and a pitch mod generator and an um, effect container, the velocity sensitivity and its output. A very simple device. And um, yeah, you could do some nice things with it. So there's the on off, on off knob. Then you have here some presets with a lot of toms. Then the title, the um, remote controls and the modulation section. So the tom, I put over here a clip like this so decay is like the length of the tom so this is a very short tom maybe i do it a little bit louder and this is a longer note then you have to tune over here so you can configure some different toms for your track for example then like in the e-kick you have here a additional click it, it adds a very subtle little click above that it makes the tom a little bit more present in the mix that it comes through the mix as well then you have a low pass cutoff frequency over here like that and then you have the pitch mod over here where you could um, yeah, put some like a slide, like a glide. A little bit similar like a, like a kick drum and the uh, e-tom is not that far from a kick drum away. It's just higher than that. And, and here you have a curve for the decay. could use the tom device to create kick drums it's like a side trance kick drum for example in that direction so and as i said then there is the um, fx chain and the velocity sensitivity and the output so that's the whole device um, you could for example put in here a steps sequencer for example and just uh, wiggle with the tune around. Then you could use to make it a little bit more present a saturator or distortion device over here. Let's use a saturator, for example. And I often use with the saturator because it's uh, very easy. It's a light saturation. For example, or you use um, distortion device. Distortion is always good. We're using two less distortion. And never forget to put a peak limiter over here if you're going for loudness.
for example, like that, I, I could lose myself in that. <laughs> um, use some reverb, some nice, for example, delays. If you just use, uh, for example, delay two, stereo delay for that, and put it really down in the mix. With something like that, you could create some nice um, ear candy. If you, for example, um, do a, um, a track, like uh, it's very, that doesn't have so much high frequency because you don't want that. So everything is like low frequency. And you could put something like that um, um, over here, maybe like a little bit of a pitch shifter to um, shift the whole thing a little bit up. That's too much. For example, for example, something like this. So something in your ears just doing stuff and um, you could pitch shift this even f f higher. Less obvious, but it depends on your mix, how, how loud that um, is at the end. But this is something where you can put like low frequency, no, no mid, or less mid mid frequency, no high frequencies, and in the high frequencies, just create something like that. Could be very interesting. So your whole mix doesn't sound like um, dull or like uh, um, just low frequency because you're creating the space because you're you're showing there's something in the high frequencies. For example, you put some hi hats over there, and uh, in, in the high in the high end, in the high end, in the high frequencies. Um, so you create like there's something in the low and there's something in the, in the high frequencies going on. So the whole room is like this big. And if you only have something in the low frequency, you just hear, you don't have a clue how big this room is. And most of the times we think, okay, um, this track is lacking some of the high frequencies. But I'm talking in, in different, in, in completely um, other areas right now, and I didn't want to do that. But um, yeah, um, I hope you like that video. And if yes, um, do me a little favor, do just that. because that helps the channel and um, I like it very much and I'm very happy if you give me some feedback on the videos, maybe you have some questions, maybe you have some tips and tricks you want to know um, that the community wants to know or that you want uh, that everybody knows who's reading the, the comments uh, down the videos. There's no, there are not so much uh, comments over there so the chance is very, very big that someone is reading your comments. And if you have something very interesting going on with these um, devices or this device or other devices, just let me know. So I hope um, I see you soon again. Stay healthy. See you. Ciao, ciao.